event this year are similar to the past years, but uh, every year it gets a little heavier. You know, there's always variations, but that's one of the things I like about Strongman is always the, uh, the new challenges. Now we're introducing something new. Uh, it's like a bag over the wall, all over a bar, and uh, it's increasing weight, so it's a set height. Now that's going to be interesting. The road, weight over bar, about to start right now. The athletes are all lined up. We're going in ascending order. Everyone has to take the first throw, which is 50 pounds. After that, the athletes are allowed to choose their very next weight. I don't know if anybody can uh, throw 100 pounds over 15 feet, but not who is throwing highest, is who can throw the heaviest object over a 15-foot bar. Uh, Rogue has made some beautiful uh, bags. They are all the same size, but they weigh from 50 pounds to 100 pounds. We'll move to a heavier bag, Mark. One athlete's been eliminated in the first round. The athletes have now chosen their next weight. Jerry Pritchard on the 60-pound road bag. Nobody's really had a chance to throw these sandbags, see how they're going to react when you yank on them and throw them. You know, we all know what cakes throw like and, and, and kettlebells, but we don't know what the bags are going to throw like. Yeah. Flexibility control. The athletes are choosing their weights. Currently in third place, Hafthor Bjornsson at 70 pounds. He's here for the mountain. You're applying all your power upwards as fast and hard as you can. And with these rogue soft implements, you can do it indoors. I think it's a bit of genius myself. Brian Shaw, up next, the current leader. It'll go in a round system, so basically if you fail, then you're out of the competition. So there's a lot of um, guessing that will go on as to how much weight is possible. Mark, I might think that Brad Shaw has done a little bit of practice with these kind of weights. I tell you what, he, his movement is very smooth. Uh, the weight toss, I love because it's an explosive lift. And again, you need that flexibility to be able to let that weight go back and then uh, uh, that explosive pop. Our next athlete is Matadas Lellis at 70. Time. 85 pound bags are being brought out, Mark. Once there was nine, now there are three. Strategizing as to which bag to throw is so important right now to get points. Brian has chosen to take the 85. The surface is very, very important in a throwing event, um, how, they, how you can release it uh, from your hands. So historically been something that uh, I'm very strong at. Miguel Chiklikov at 90 pounds. And you can see fatigue is starting to play a factor. Guys are, are getting tired. We know we have two good throwers there. Uh, Brian is really good. Ford is really good throwing. So that's going to be an interesting one. Traditionally, they're, they're good throwers. You know, so they're going to be the ones that try to chase. Throwing events has always been good for me. I'm strong and big, and I would say I'm quite athletic. Hafthor in third place currently. He needs to move up. He gets a very valuable point. He wants the maximum point. He releases. It's got a beautiful arc over the bar. That was a magnificent throw. This is unbelievable what these last two athletes are doing. I've never seen anything like this. Hurling 90 pounds over a 15 foot bar. You're looking at the strongest man in the world. Four times the world's strongest man. Twice the champion here at the Arnolds. Half Thor has won the event.